friends, Rev Joe here. I'm so glad that you've come over to the children's corner so that I could invite you to the special thing that we have coming on at the church next week. But before I get to that invitation, I would love to tell you a story. Are you ready? There was once a man named Philip. Philip was a follower of God and he was going toward a city one day when he heard the Holy Spirit call his name and say, Philip, I need you to go back the other direction because there's a man I need you to talk to. Philip immediately turned around and he walked the other way away from his friend, said, I'll catch up with y'all later. And he walked the other way. As he was walking, he saw a man who was in a chariot. A chariot was kind of like a wagon that was pulled by a horse. And he saw that chariot and the Holy Spirit said, Philip, that's the man. You need to catch up to that chariot and you need to have a conversation with him. You need to talk with him. So what do you think Philip did? That's right. But the chariot and the horse went faster than he was. So you know what Philip had to do? He had to run. Can you run in place and wherever you are? Oh, that's really great running. Good job. So Philip ran after the chariot and the man, and eventually he caught up and he was walking beside him. He, he heard the man reading. He was reading out loud, and he heard him reading from the scriptures, from the Bible. And Philip said, what are you reading? And he said, well, I'm reading this, this stuff from the Bible. And Philip said, do you understand what you're hearing? He said that because it was very clear that the man was not a Jew and probably didn't know what he was reading. And the man said, well, how can I? Because nobody has ever explained it to me. And Philip said, can I come on up and talk with you about the scriptures? And the man said, oh, I would love that. Because you see, this man had just come from Jerusalem where he was worshiping God. But because he was not a Jew, he was left out. He couldn't go into the temple, into the, the sanctuary to worship like everybody else. He had to stay outside. Have you ever been left out of something or not picked for something? How did that make you feel? Oh, yeah, that doesn't feel so good when we're left out, does it? So this man had felt really left out, but he had, he had picked up this scroll so that he could read it and try to worship God better. Well, he immediately invited Philip to come sit in the chariot with him so Philip could share the good news with him. The man asked some more questions and Philip answered them all as they drove around. And what Philip was reading to him was saying that God loves every single person. And there's nobody who should be left out because Jesus came to save us from our sins. So even when we do bad things, God still loves us when we say, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to hurt the person that I that I wasn't nice to, and I didn't mean to hurt God with my actions. And when we ask for forgiveness of the person and say, we're sorry, and when we tell God we're sorry, God says, that's okay. I love you, and I know you'll try to do better. Well, the man was so excited because he thought that he would never be included, that he would never be able to be a part of God's family. And that made him sad. But what Philip was saying made him happy. He was like, wow, I can be a part of the family of God. And so to become a part of the family of God, we are baptized. And that's when we're, we have water put on our heads and the Holy Spirit comes to us and marks us as gods, both outside with the water and inside our hearts, inside our being. And we can never be separated from God when that happens. Well, the man said, Philip, what's stopping me from being baptized right now? There's some water right over there. Could we go down there? Would you baptize me? And Philip said, I would love to baptize you. And so they stopped the chariot and they got out. And Philip and the man went down to the water and Philip dunked him under and laid his hands on him and said, I baptize you in the name of God, who is our creator and God, who is Jesus Christ and God, who is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit came upon him and marked him as God's own. And he was no longer outside of God's family. Now he was a part of the family of God too. Do you think that made him happy? <laughs> yeah, I think it did too. 
It sure makes me happy to know that I'm a part of God's family. And if you've been baptized, you're a part of God's family too. And if you haven't been baptized, you can ask your mom and dad about that. They'd know. Then maybe you can ask if you can be baptized to be a part of God's family too. Now, at the beginning of our time, I said I had an invitation for you, didn't I? Just like the man on the chariot invited Philip to come to share the good news with him, we are inviting you to come to church and share the good news through two ways. The first one is to bring clothes that don't fit you or that you don't wear anymore. And we're going to sort them all out into boxes so we can give them to people who may not be able to pay very much for clothes. So this will give them the opportunity to get clothes that will help them to, to look nice and to have clothes that fit them. The second thing we're asking you to do is to invite a friend. Just like the man invited Philip to come into the chariot, we want you to invite a friend to come and see how awesome it is to be at Vail United Methodist Church. So we're going to do our clothes drive and clothes sorting next Sunday, June 5th at four o'clock. And we invite you to come and bring a friend so that we can share what it is to celebrate and to share all of the goodness that God gives us through the clothes that we can then pass on to somebody else. If you have questions, you can always reach me at the church and I look forward to answering those for you. Two things, clothes, friend. We hope that we'll see you next week at four o'clock on Sunday, June 5th. And now will you open up your hands and repeat after me and we'll pray to thank God for the friends and inviting us to be a part of the family. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for inviting me to understand you better through the times that we spend learning about you. Help me to invite others just like Philip did so everyone may know all about your love. We love you. Amen. Bye, friends. I hope that I see you not just in the message next week, but also here at church on Sunday, June 5th. At what time? four o'clock with your clothes and your friends so that we can do some good in our community around us. I'll see you next time.